Many people have read Rock Into Insanity, but none read this alternate ending. Well, you're in luck. You happen to find the alternate ending. So, here we go. As the blade pierced Pinkie Pie's chest, Rainbow Dash's sanity came sweeping back to her, and she immediately regretted what she did. Trembling, she dropped the bloody blade, but it was too late. The damage had already been done. Red liquid poured from the huge gash in Pinkie Pie's chest, and all she could do was utter, But why? Before she collapsed on the ground, her eyes a blank stare. Rainbow Dash stared at Pinkie in disbelief. Oh, God. What have I done? Her heart began to pound in her chest as she made sense of her horrible act. She had just assaulted one of her friends like the very monster in her dreams did to her. Panicking, she fell onto her bag and started to crawl away from the ghastly scene. Her mind raced with uncertainty of what to do until finally she let her instincts take over. She stood up, spread her wings, and flew out the door screaming, Help! Someone help me! Her frantic cries were heard all across the village, and multiple ponies came to her aid. What's wrong? one of them inquired. It's Pinkie Pie! She's hurt! Badly! She lamented with tears falling from her eyes. One of the ponies stuck her head into the bakery and gasped. Oh, God! Someone get the nearest ponies out of here right away! A nearby Pegasus heard the request and acted immediately. She spread her wings and flew towards the direction of the hospital. The ponies that made the request then turned their head towards Rainbow Dash. How did this happen? I don't know! Rainbow Dash lied. She was like that when I arrived! The pony believed her, at least she acted like she did, as she called over other ponies to help her with the injured mare. Rainbow Dash wanted to help with her hooves locked up, and she only stared as she watched her friend slip away as blood seeped out from the gaping wound in her chest. A fast response brought many ponies with medical supplies to the scene. With the help of the other ponies, the nurse ponies were able to get Pinkie Pie patched up and carried out on the stretcher towards the hospital. While the other ponies hurried along to make sure Pinkie Pie would be all right, Rainbow Dash stayed behind, hovering in the air, as she stared off in the distance at the shrieking crowd. I'm a monster, she said to herself, before she broke down in tears and flew off in the opposite direction. After a long ordeal in the emergency room, and with all of Pinkie Pie's friends, with the exception of Rainbow Dash, Waiting nervously in the waiting room for news on their friend's status, a nurse pony finally came out to meet them. They immediately crowded around her, and Twilight asked a question that resounded on every pony's mind. Tell me, nurse, is she going to live? The nurse pony opened her mouth, and all the pony's hearts stopped beating in their chests in anticipation of the news. Yes, the pony said. All the ponies sighed in relief. Oh, thank God, Twilight expressed. It was a close call for a while. But we managed to save her. She is recovering now, the nurse pony explained. Do you all know who did this to her? Applejack inquired. The nurse pony shook her head. I'm afraid not, although she was mumbling something as we operated on her. It was very soft, so I don't know if I heard it correctly. Let me see. The nurse pony tried to recall. I think it was Rainbow. Why? All the ponies gasped and stared at each other in disbelief. Rainbow Dash huddled beneath a tree with her wings folded across her chest and her hooves locked across her knees as she stared at the ground miserably. Many thoughts raced through her mind as she kept reliving the events that transpired at the bakery. Each memory was more vivid and horrifying than the last. How could I have done such a thing? The question reeled in her mind. She gripped her head and started to rock back and forth until the memories of the assault overwhelmed her and she wailed out in misery. I found her! Rainbow Dash heard suddenly, and it snapped her out of her trance. She lowered her hooves and looked up to see Twilight and the rest of her friends padding towards her. They stopped in front of her, and Applejack was the first to confront her. Tell me, Rainbow Dash, did you do this, Pinkie Pie? Dash looked to the ground in shame and muttered. Yes. Applejack frowned. Her eyes furrowed. She turned away, giving her the cold shoulder, only to suddenly buck her legs hard into Rainbow Dash's snout. Her head snapped back before slamming against the tree trunk. She collapsed against it, splotches of blood pooling on the grass between her legs, as she gripped her thoroughly bleeding snout with a hoof. It wasn't broken, but she knew Applejack could have easily done so, had she wanted to. Seems she wasn't quite willing to go that far. 
She turned back around, boiling anger plastered on her face as she barked. A friend who attacks another friend like that is no friend of mine! With that, she ran off. Rainbow Dash lowered her head without saying a word as Applejack trotted away. Rarity was up next, and she didn't hesitate to bring a hoof hard against the side of Rainbow Dash's face. Blood from from her bleeding snout from the sheer force of her clop, and Dash gripped her now throbbing cheekbone with her other free hoof as she looked away in shame. How could you? Rarity scorned before she ran off, with tears in her eyes. Next up was Fluttershy, who looked just as angry as the others. She raised her hooves in preparation to strike at Rainbow Dash, who closed her eyes and tensed up in preparation for the assault. However, all she felt was light thumps, and she opened her eyes back up to see Fluttershy batting at her futilely in her rage as her eyes started to water up. Eventually, she couldn't take the hurt any more off and flew off sobbing. Fluttershy's assault hurt worst of all. One by one, her friends abandoned her, and she couldn't blame them. She didn't deserve their friendship, not after what she'd done. All that's left was Twilight, who stared at her with feral eyes but didn't say anything. Rainbow Dash broke the silent tension. Twilight, I... Why, Rainbow Dash? Why would you do such a terrible thing? Twilight inquired. Rainbow Dash breathed in deep. She was hesitant to speak of the horrors she experienced, but she knew she had to, for it would be the first step she needed to take if she wanted to find redemption for her actions. After a long exhale, she told Twilight everything that she had bottled up for so long. Nightmares. <laughs> Such terrifying nightmares. I, I can see Pinkie Pie standing over me with a scalpel, ready to cut into my flesh and rip out my organs. It was awful. Every night it was the same until I started reliving it every waking hour. Then the next thing I knew she was offering me cupcakes, and the very cupcakes she used in my nightmares to subdue me so that she could mutilate me at her own pace. And so I panicked, grabbed the closest weapon I could find, and that's when I... I... Tears began to flow from her eyes. I attacked her! Twilight couldn't believe her ears. She had no idea that her friend was slowly going mad, and she immediately wrapped her arms around her and held her tight. Oh, Dash, I'm so sorry. I can't begin to imagine what you were going through. I wish I could have been there for you. Rainbow Dash cried on her shoulder as Twilight embraced her, consoling her as best as she could. Blood dripped onto her shoulder, but she didn't care, because her friend needed her right now. The embrace outlasted the tears and the blood. Once Rainbow Dash finally calmed down a bit, Twilight said to her, You have to tell Pinkie Pie what happened. Dash grew frightened at the prospect. No, I couldn't. She wouldn't want to see me after a while I'm done. Look, I know you're scared, but as far as Pinkie Pie knows, you did this on purpose. Do you want her to think that? Rainbow Dash's eyes widened at that. As terrified as she was of how Pinkie Pie would react to seeing her, the thought of her believing that her attack was one of spite or anger or anything was too much to bear. With newfound resolve, she stood up and said, Lead the way. Twilight smiled and nodded. You're doing the right thing, but first we need to get you cleaned up. Rainbow Dash had momentarily forgotten about her physical pain and the mess her bleeding snout I made of her hooves and face. Oh yeah, that, she grumbled. They headed toward a nearby fountain, and though ponies turned their heads and pick interest of Rainbow Dash's bruises and bleeding snout, they didn't confront her. Some even whispered among themselves as she passed by. When she glanced at them, they turned their heads quickly away. Were they afraid of her? Rainbow Dash wondered. She couldn't blame them if they did. She was a monster after all. Rainbow Dash dipped her head in the fountain and washed off the blood staining her face and hooves. Once she was all cleaned up, she nodded towards Twilight, who led her toward the hospital. When they reached the steps, Dash froze up again. She suddenly found herself doubting her reasons for being there. She's not going to want to see me, she thought. She'll hate me even more. She saw further, but a comforting hoof on her shoulder roused Rainbow Dash from her paranoid delusions. Twilight nodded to her and she took a deep breath before taking those last few steps into the hospital. The place was pretty vacant. There were a few sickly ponies lounging about, waiting impatiently for the doctor to see them, but no serious injuries. At least nothing compared to Rainbow Dash's act of cruelty. Twilight went to the front desk and asked if they could see Pinkie Pie. The nurse pony nodded and directed them to one of the back rooms. 
Twilight called out, Rainbow Dash to follow, and she reluctantly did. They came to a bedroom in a back, and the nurse pony showed them the door. Then she said something about keeping their visit short before trotting off. Rainbow Dash floated up to the glass window of the door and peered inside. What she saw made her heart sink. Pinky was there, lying in bed, bandages wrapped around her chest, and a tube connecting to a blood bag on her right hoof. What truly made Rainbow Dash feel so terrible was she looked so weak. She was resting for the time being, but her breathing was soft, and her eyes, although closed, looked so sad. Rainbow Dash lost control of herself and started to cry. I can't do this, Twilight! Twilight, being as supportive as she could, put a hoof on her shoulder and said, You come this far. You can't quit now. Go in there and talk to her. Rainbow Dash sighed. She knew Twilight was right. She had to see her, to tell her how sorry she was. With a deep breath, she reached for the door handle and pulled. The door opened with ease, and Rainbow Dash floated in silently. She could see Pinkie Pie so clear now, so weak and helpless. It made her heart ache. She stepped towards her and lowered herself next to Pinkie Pie's bedside. She looked over the injury she had wrought. While the gash had been covered up, the blood splotches along the bandages gave her a perfect idea of just how serious the injury was. Tears formed in her eyes as she gripped the pink pony's dangling hoof with her own and squeezed. Oh, Pinkie Pie, I'm so sorry. So very, very sorry. She began to weep on her bedside, the sheets sopping up most of the tears. Pinkie Pie was roused from her slumber. She opened her eyes weakly and stared at the ceiling. She heard weeping and turned her head. When she noticed Rainbow Dash sitting next to her, her face lit up and a smile spread across her cheeks. Dash, is that you? Rainbow Dash gasped and looked up. The way Pinkie Pie was smiling at her put her at a loss. Why was she smiling? She thought. I almost killed her. It is you. I'm so glad you came by. I was so worried about you when you didn't show up with the rest of our friends. Worried? About me? Why? Because you're my best friend, silly filly. Pinkie Pie exclaimed cheerfully. For the first time in her life, Rainbow Dash felt true sadness in her heart. The very pony she almost murdered not only still considered her a friend, but her best friend. Rainbow Dash felt new tears form in her eyes, and as she looked at Pinkie Pie with extreme sadness, her lips quivering. Pinkie Pie cocked her head at her. What's wrong? She asked. Pinkie Pie, please forgive me. I don't know why I did what I did. I cannot express how sorry I am. She lamented, tears flowing from her eyes. Pinkie Pie reached up and wiped her tears away. Oh, don't cry, Rainbow Dash. It's okay, I forgive you. I know you never do something like that intentionally. Best friends forgive each other, no matter what. Rainbow Dash smiled widely, tears of joy replacing her sad ones as she hugged Pinkie Pie lovingly, careful not to jostle her. Thank you, Pinkie Pie. Pinky closed her eyes and whispered, Anything for you, 